is he doing? I find it best not to look. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Giant Blue spoiler cast for Mission Impossible Fallout. I'm your host, Jacob Millen, with me as always, your co host, Sean Guy, and back to popular demand, Iona Francis. Mm-hmm. And returning from the podcast and now on the spoiler cast, Thomas Medina. By popular demand as well. <laughs> oh, sorry, um, sorry, sorry. Yep. I actually yeah. noticed that as well. I, like, oh. I am also wanted. <laughs> if you come back again, then yes, then yeah. Always. Oh, Thomas, you jo- rejoined us from the podcast. Oh, oh you're back whoa, again. Yeah. I'm back, guys. In yeah. the 15 minutes between filming the podcast and now the spoiler cast, so many people have asked you. I can't home. shut them up. Just the phone is vibrating. Yeah. Can you guys see that? Uh, <laughs> sometimes we change shirts to make it look like it's been like a couple of weeks yeah. or something like that. I put oh, on a jumper last time. We just filmed time. three episodes in... Oh, did you? Like, like last time we did the spoiler cast, we did Ooh. Ant-Man, and it was like a thing where... Who did that? <laughs> Someone... <laughs> that massive spike. Someone's a big that. waveform now. Let me turn IU down. <laughs> turn IU oh. off, actually. Thomas, <laughs> Thomas Medina, otherwise known as the big Mission Impossible fan. Is that, is that how yeah. you... Who knows you as yeah, that? Yeah, that's my middle name. Big Mission Impossible fan. <laughs> you walk um, into a room and some people are like, who is that? Oh, that's the big Mission Impossible Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I try not to say that too much because I'm actually quite a recent Mission Impossible fan. Mm. I I hadn't seen any until uh, three years ago and I watched them all and then I said, I'm the biggest Mission Impossible fan ever. Um, well, so I think that's how I was going to start this sort of spoiler cast review. So this is... Mm. Okay, so spoilers, guys. I mean, if you haven't seen it, you go check it out. Mm-hmm. Go check it out. Um, really good. Actually, alright, so first of all, did everyone like the film? Yeah, yep. that was alright. That is a lame little weak. Uh, <laughs> I'm just a general because I think we all we all liked it and above. Yeah, totally. Okay, I cool. absolutely Definitely. loved it. I loved it. Right. So I want to sort of quickly go around and see, yeah, like you said, how kind of big a fan you are, or like what films have you seen? Uh, so for me, Oh, you can go, sorry. No, no, you go. I was just... Um, <laughs> I think the only one I've not seen is number two, to be honest. You haven't like, seen number two? I think the first one I've seen might have been three. I saw it in yeah, cinema. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I just hated it. I haven't seen it since. Wow. I don't okay. know why. I was a dumb kid. I don't know. And then I saw one. I think I enjoyed it. And then it wasn't until Ghost Protocol, the fourth one, directed mm. by Brad Bird, which like... It was almost like, like a soft reboot, though, wasn't it? It, it is. No it's, one... a, it's an odd franchise. Yeah, yeah, they're all soft reboots. Yeah, That's kind right. of themselves. Yeah, like every yeah. year they're like, oh, it's busted back out. Yeah. But they keep the same cast. But no, because it was Brad Bird, and they talked about his directing style from animation carried over into the movie, and I was like, fuck, sold, I'm done. I'll see mm. this movie. And that movie is fucking awesome. Ghost <laughs> yeah. Protocol is so good. And then Five, I don't think I saw it in cinema. I watched it again recently and it's really it's pretty good it's pretty good it's, good, really good. it's mm. got some really good parts and then six four i came out and it's, it's fucking awesome <laughs> yeah 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 oh well i guess i so i watched them all in order just yeah. um <clears throat> it, this was just in the lead up to the fifth one then i saw that one at the cinema um so i watched the first one and i was like well this is great i actually love this this I is can't the believe best came out in 1996 yeah. i can't believe he's been doing it for 20 years like, i was like this is awesome <laughs> if they're all as good as this i'm gonna love it the second one is not good um, oh well, we just skipped the second one. The third one. It's someone with like the doves, right? And it's, it's probably the Ang Lee yeah, one. Yeah, there's slow motion, oh, like they both jump off Ang motorcycles. Lee. Yeah. Um, <sighs> is it Ang Lee? I think it's. I think it's. I'm not sure uh, oh. about that. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, third one I, I loved too. Bit of JJ Abrams classic. That's, that's right. It is JJ. Yeah. And because he this can't do anything is a original. Mess of a franchise. Yeah. Yeah, well, no, no <laughs> mess is uh, is one way to put it. A um a fun kind of hot potato is another way to put it. Yeah. Um, okay. A passing of the baton. Except the fifth and sixth is directed by the same person, which is For the, the first, first time. time. I thought that was odd, but yeah, mm. yeah, totally. So yeah, love the fourth, love the fifth, love the sixth. Cool. <laughs> I don't know. This is my very first Mission, mission Impossible. Great. And I <laughs> loved it. It was so odd. I know. She it's told so me this weird. afterwards. She like, I was like, I had that. I didn't, I didn't want to say anything beforehand because I thought I you were going to like yeah. slime I kept asking, and go. Well, no. I'm, but I'm not the no, biggest like, like uh, It was my very it. first time watching it, but I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Because, it, yeah, it was I was so like, I kept asking fun. you. I was like, hey, let's go see it. And then in my mind, I'm like do you even really care? And you were just like, oh, I want to go to the movie sort of thing. And then we're watching it. I hadn't really thought about it, like, 
<laughs> where you were on the franchise <laughs> and then afterwards you were just like you just lean over and you're just like yeah this is the first time <laughs> and you are also you told me that you didn't really know what it was until the tune came on and you were like oh Mission Impossible <laughs> <laughs> when it was like without like light the fuse and it's like the Fantastic. tune yeah. and I was like oh this is what's been stuck in my head for like how that's how great long. that's hilarious that's brilliant so what about you Sean? I've seen one and I loved it. Hmm. Classic sort of spy film. Yeah. Two and three I think I've seen, but I can't distinguish the difference. Four and five I've definitely seen, but I can't distinguish the difference. <laughs> and six I've seen recently. And, and and apart from number one, I think they're all kind of just... Okay. Yeah, right. A bit more of the same. Yeah. <laughs> I think in, in the sixth one, I got two up in my own head because I was like, I knew there was going to be, you know, those twist moments where they have the masks and stuff. Mm. So every time I was like looking for it and I've usually called it right and I was like, I don't know if I ruined it for myself. I, I was yeah. thinking too much. I don't know. You might have been thinking too much for a Mission Impossible movie. Yeah, mm. probably. Yeah. It's possible. But it's likely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I liked it. I mean, it was fun. And yeah. there was a few moments because like it does get you like... That countdown sort of moment, and when they're on the, fighting on the edge of the cliff, and they've oh got the God. thing, I, I was like sitting on the edge of my seat, and there's a <coughs> point where they like kick it with his foot. It's like, <gasps> yeah. And Mitchell sitting next to me was like, "You're right," and I was like, "I'm really invested. I don't know why. Just shut up." <laughs> <laughs> there's so many, I think, parts like that. Yeah, so yeah. I guess, yeah, I guess before like diving in, um, I had something. I had something, but I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. Um, God. Well, yeah, because I, I think it was, like, before we went to see it, like, we decided, like, the Wednesday or whatever it was. And so, I, m- number four is on Netflix. So, I will rewatch yeah. Ghost Protocol. And that's, mm. like, so good. Ooh, I'm going to write like, that down. Is that the Jeremy Renner one? <laughs> yeah, that's where they introduced Jeremy Renner. That was during that weird period where they were, like, <laughs> trying to f- shove him into every franchise in yeah. case the other person didn't want to <laughs> yeah, do it. Yeah, they were starting to groom it was him like, to bo- take He was over. in that Bourne Legacy yeah. in case Matt, well, Matt Damon didn't have that, wasn't in that one. And yeah. then this one, it was like, in case Tom Cruise, like, didn't come back. Or, like, God forbid, like, he injured himself yeah. doing some crazy <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. if he broke both his legs? But he had the Burj Khalifa or something. Yeah. yeah. And, like, but, um, I just, that's got some good scenes in it. Like, the prison break where he's, like, they open all the doors and it's set to a yeah. kick in the head. And that movie came out around the time of, like, Fallout New Vegas. So we were all, like, hyped on that song. And then he, like, that comes on and, like, he's like, Benji, open all the doors. Like, mm-hmm. thing. Um, I had a point. Sorry, this is my point. <laughs> what you just said is sort of more of the same. I think audiences are quite split on this new film. I feel like people are either in a camp of they like loved it, like it's like best action film like mm. like in a while sort of thing, like it's so strong and so good. And then there's the other audiences that are like, yeah, it's good, but it's just kind of more of the same. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you look at the first one and I think the, the moment, the iconic moment is when mm. he's flat you know, yeah. and he's hanging and like everyone was like, that's the one we all remember. That's when our hearts mm. stopped beating. Yeah. The new one, particularly, I don't know, I can't remember the fourth and fifth in detail, but, like, it always seems to be, like, a countdown to a fight. Like, they just seem to be punching, you know? Mm. Like, there's not that set piece that just makes me go, I want more of that, you know? Is, is that so much? Yeah, well, that's that? interesting, because I think there is totally. Like, See, the, I, I the Burj Khalifa yeah. Yeah. thing yeah. is amazing. So, what was the, um, what's the bridge? When he's... Sorry, that's the he's tower in India. The and he has to use those basically. gloves, and it's like... Oh, see, okay. Well, that's not this movie, though. No, that's no, the no. fourth one. But this movie... But I keep referencing that because well, I love that one. I can't remember. Yeah, okay. There's plenty in this movie. I don't mm. know if we can want to start going through them yet, but there's like a billion. <laughs> yeah. Um, mm. Remind me of them, then, because I might change my mind. I'm, I'm open to that. Yeah. I think well, it's yeah, just. Well, I think cool. it's tricky because, like... Yeah, it is, like... Well, it's, it's a weird sort of... Like, when people say, oh, it's just more of the same, but it's like... How different can you make it till it's not Mission Impossible? You know, if he like went to space and started fighting aliens, like you wouldn't be happy. Yeah, so that's true. It's yeah. like it is hard to kind of mm. reinvent it while remaining in the same genre. I think I don't I mind kinda... it being more of the same. I just I don't get excited about it. I, like I, it's yeah, just like mid range sort of like I enjoyed watching that, but I don't need more. <laughs> right. I think I think like, I get that argument. Like it is more of the same, but I think in my opinion, it is like almost like this is the peak kind of thing. Like it, yeah. everything is dark. There's, there's more of everything and. All right, well, it should jump into it. Maybe quickly, <laughs> let's maybe say some things we didn't like before we mm. go all in on the stuff that we loved. Because I've got a lot of stuff that I really like, yeah. and I'm sure you do as well, Thomas. <clears throat> yeah. So, is there anything that you didn't like? Um, there really was. Like? I'm just remembering at the moment. Does anyone else off the top of their head? Yeah. Um. So I think when I was first watching the film, as someone who was like a newcomer, and he gets the parcel, 
And then he like goes, "This is your mission." <laughs> and I'm like, "The How's he story." This is your mission. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like a little more quirky. It's like, "This is your mission." And um, but the uh, the story is so bad. But I realized that's not the point of these films. The point is the action, and I didn't quite get that. <laughs> I, <didn't. laughs> no, no, I totally agree. No, but like, <laughs> so I didn't. I was kind of judging it really hard watching it first because I was like, "This is a bit of a." The uh, first half hour is a little bit all over the place. <clears throat> and then, bit. but then the minute the fighting starts happening in the bathroom. You're Sorry, in the bathroom. Oh, got told. <laughs> <laughs> You're not Jack's favorite anymore. <laughs> um, it's when they're in the bathroom and they start playing. I was like, "Holy shit, this is like choreographed, amazing!" That is, a and that that's scene. when it hit me. I was like, "Ah, oh, this is like not about the story. It's like about these moments." And they delivered their moments so well because they knew the action. They knew how to film it. Tom Cruise knows how to do his stunts, and it was just like. Yeah, that's totally it. It's such a, like, tight sub-genre that's so formulaic that, like, <laughs> it's glorious to see them knowing what they're making. Mm. Like, the plot doesn't matter. I yeah. love the the opening, this is your mission bit in this one, because oh, it's yeah. ridiculous. It's so yeah. long. They're just shoving <laughs> exposition. This is, like, two minutes of everything. <laughs> and it goes on and so on and on. <laughs> and it's the Apostles and John Lark. And the Apostles have the... That, that was one of my jokes. Is there's two characters in it, two, like, important people, and it's, like... One is called Lane and one is called Lark, and yeah. I kept. I'm like, I'm like, wait, what? Right. Oh, I just, it just. I was like, can you not have two such similar yeah. names, sort of thing? It was like, it was like <laughs> annoying me. But that this, sequence goes on for so long. But then there's a summary. It it's like, like so minutes. in summary, catch the drama, <laughs> and it's like. And so I just loved that they just went for it. Yeah. They just chucked it all in. That's what I mean. I think it's like this one was just everything, but like more. I think. Yeah. I guess mm. the only quote that really comes to mind for me was, um, I feel like the villain. And because it's the same villain from Rogue Nation from the fifth one, they yeah. bring him back. Yeah, yeah. Which I'm glad I rewatched Rogue Nation because I probably wouldn't have remembered that. <laughs> and because he's got a beard now, he looks but, very uh, different. Yeah, but it, he just he wasn't super menacing in that one, and he's really not in this one. And I don't really know if that's the direction or just mm. the actor, but and sort of more so in this one, he's more of a plot device than a villain. He's mm. more of like an object that everyone's trying to get, like this yeah. IMS trying well, to get him, the, the CIA. For that? The C- golden like, MacGuffin, briefcase? The MacGuffin. Like, he's a yeah. MacGuffin. He's like... The like, rabbit's foot. Yeah. yeah. The, yeah. the, the yeah, yeah. Maltese yeah, yeah. Falcon or whatever it is. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like the CIA's trying to get him, the British intelligence trying to get him, mm-hmm. IMS trying to get him. Like, And so he's just kind of this person that everyone's yeah. sought after. I don't know, yeah. he's just not very menacing. Like, yeah. Like, like they're trying to position him as like the Joker. Exactly. Kind of thing, where he's like one step ahead, but it's more like... Stuff just happens around him, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. That like he's fine. He's fine. Yeah. Could have been more exciting. Yeah. And one of my gripes is maybe, like, they set up a bunch of kind of character stuff, I feel like, in mm. the first half. Some character and some relationship things that never do really pay off. There's nothing in the third act that yeah. r- to really confront some of the ideas they bring up. I was going to say that as well, because yeah. the character stuff in this movie is kind of weird. Like, I haven't, I, as I've already admitted that I, the other films sort of blur together. And there was a lot of characters and references to, like, old wives and girlfriends and stuff. And I was really <laughs> lost. I was like, who were... All, even all the, like, female characters, they all started blurring together. I was like, wait, is she the wife or is she an assassin? Like, when did they hook up and who is this? I, I was, I was like, blanking on the whole thing. <laughs> the only other issue I had was I had the theme tune stuck in my head for... <laughs> a week That's after. A That's a good thing. I just like was in the car. And I was just like, dun, 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 dun. Yeah. I, I like, think oh. it's bad when you yeah. start brushing your teeth to the thing. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> but, yeah, just doing everything. Yeah. Just doing everything to that theme. <laughs> um, all right, My so. only other little grab is that um, this is probably not as fun. Uh, just strictly fun and colourful as the other Mission Impossible movies or the like three to five or something which were all quite they got they were getting mm. more colourful particularly the fourth one well, and kind that, of that was so fun there was gadgets, gadgets. And... there was no gadgets in these yeah. like this yeah. guy's this new this director Christopher McQuarrie he's like doesn't really use the gadgets as much whereas Brad yeah. Bird went like all in on all those gadgets yeah. and that's the first scene in Ghost Protocol is the guy runs and he, he jumps off a building and he throws a thing at the ground and turns around to shoot these guys and it's like a bomb that makes an inflatable mattress so he lands on it oh, yeah. and I'm like that's such a sick way yeah. to start a film because it is kind of cartoony but and that's I think what alright this that's what I think is this, this this next one is so good is 
Some my words are terrible. Is it's just such a beautiful mix of ridiculousness, but it also feels kind of real as well. And I think that's because mm. of just the incredible melding of like practical effects and visual effects and like in CGI. Yeah. Like I don't know when. To me, I'm like that whole thing is practical. Like it's it's incredible. Yeah. It's uh, it's in just amazing to yeah. look at. Uh, there just were multiple it, yeah, times just... my brain just went, <laughs> no, actually, I can't believe what I'm seeing. I'm just, I'm going to, cl- maybe, should I close my eyes for a minute? I yeah. don't know. I'm freaking out. Like, and like, uh, I think that's why people, I think I sort of like, oh, it's just more of the same. Because I think the good stuff is in the details in this film. It's like, yeah. almost like you look at it, it's like, no, no, you have to understand, like, this is practical. Like, this is stunt work. This is, like, choreographed and, like, the sound effects and the sound mixing and just all the practical effects. It's like... It's another, le- it's, or it's the mm-hmm. best it can be almost, like we've seen. Yeah. Like, it's just. Like, you can see oh. Tom Cruise's face as he's doing all of this. Yeah. The yeah. motorbike stuff in this one. Yeah. A lot, I've heard a lot of people say, oh, it's yeah. just more motorbike stuff. There's a lot in all the mm. movies. But, yeah, but in this like one, it blew level. me away. It's, I was sitting there going, oh my God, that's actually him driving it. Yeah. You could yeah. see him. He was doing everything. I was like, that's someone <laughs> and, uh, on a motorbike doing that. I've forgotten the actress's name, but Elsa, the character, like, yeah. she's fantastic too like doing all that stuff as well yeah and like yeah and uh it's just well i the stuff i loved was i don't really know what to call it so i guess it's like a roll cage like the car it's like in like a roll cage like a stunt thing so it can go like that yeah and they do it on the helicopters and they do it on pretty much everything and they'll just they'll keep the camera in the same spot so when it rolls the camera stays with it and you can see the actor and they play with it when the bad guy's in the van and the water oh, comes really up it, good it, shot. it comes it, it engulfs him horizontally oh, like yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. and he kind of goes and like it just like, and it's like I don't know there's something cool that about that that was a wicked scene and even yeah. and when Henry Cavill's in the helicopter and it goes upside down and you can tell because his face is like mm, he's and really he's holding on and like his legs like fly up he's like and I loved and how, how like, they were getting like sucked out it's of it you can see them the getting the rolled way. out yes. and you're like shit they alright because that that because yeah. all the hell you could tell right from the start that it was all real mm. yeah like the helicopter scenes blew me away because it was Real. Yeah, and it I won't go like, too much Whoa. into the behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> so that I'm, I've I'm sure there's a ton to, of like, but I've listened to t- tons and mm. um, and there's just so many crazy stories. Like for the motorbike stuff, they had this whole setup of like a van that was gonna like actually carry the motorbike, so he didn't have to actually, mm. but it looked like he was driving it around. But then they get there on the day, the van is not work. That's not turning on properly it's with this rig. <laughs> so they're like, oh, what are we gonna do? We, we've only got two hours. <laughs> Tom Cruise is just like, oh, well, I got to jump on with the other, the actual motorbike. I'm just going to do it. So they just jump. He jumps onto a motorbike that rides on its own, and he just does it. Yeah, and this is the one where he broke cool. his ankle too. Yeah, this they the use the yeah. shot that he breaks his ankle. But they didn't. They yeah. didn't because the one they showed on the trailer is it's from it's from like a sign on oh, point wait, of view. No, but this yeah, one it's from behind right. like that. But then it cuts and you Sorry. see him. It was maybe thing. multiple camera. Oh no, no that one's followed. Well, they, they probably were like, in case right. he breaks his ankle, get every angle. Get yeah. Every yeah. Angle. Um, they yeah. had like, I think they had, it was like, he was talking mm. about in an interview like yeah. months ago. Yeah. When he was Because it got delayed it. for weeks. Yeah. And, um, but he was saying that um, he was, there was like quite a few angles that they took it from and that um, <laughs> when he did it, he like still kept running. Yeah. And you can actually see him limp yeah, off. Yeah. yeah. You can. And it's just like, yeah. like God. Yeah, he shattered his ankle, and then six weeks later, they were doing the cliff climbing scene. (laughs) It was insane. And they still hadn't filmed his running bit. They had to do that later in the production. Mm. So he had to heal his ankle. He's running part where he's chasing Henry Cavill. That running, yeah. Oh my God. I mean, that's the joke. It's like, this boy likes to run. Like, it's like, it's just him running. Like, and I was like, man, I wish I could do that. That's what it's the same as the motorbike stuff. It's like, it's, you think you've seen Tom Cruise running. <coughs> this movie is the best Tom Cruise running. That's right. It's yeah. the best of, of everything. It's like the motorbike chase. It's the it's better. Yeah. Like the running, it's it's better. The the choreography is better. This the effects better. Like yeah. everything in this movie. I don't really know where they can go from here. They need to yeah. do like a smaller film, I think, now or something. Maybe. Like, like I love um, how they do stuff with uh, planes and helicopters and stuff, but possibly my favourite set piece is him just running in this film. Because it keeps going, and he's running at top speed. And my audience was just going, yeah, get him. You're yes. almost there. You're almost going to have to something about, Yeah, there's something about it. And Benji having like him on the little tracker like sort of thing. Yeah. And he's really good. I mean, that's the thing. is Even though I didn't like the villain, I feel like all the other characters are really quite good. Simon like, Pegg's good. Simon and, Pegg's um, always good. Uh, yeah. Elsa's really good. Yeah. Ving Rhames. Ving Rhames. And, yeah. Z- yeah. and I hadn't seen it before in anything, but man, the White Widow. 
Yeah, uh, Vanessa, Vanessa Kirby. Kirby. So she's, she's great in The Crown. You should watch The oh, Crown. Okay, I've not seen The Crown. Amazing. But she just like, she's yeah. like my new celebrity crush. But yeah. more than that, like, she just, I don't know, it was just mesmerizing to watch, I think. The way she just, she, is. she was from, like, it was like the femme fatale kind of yeah. play. But just her chemistry with the other characters was just really strong. Yeah. So, you know, like she's subtext, well, uh, or hidden, <coughs> hidden main text, but she's the daughter of uh, the woman in the first Mission Impossible. It's, she kind of says that in her stuff she's saying when Tom Cruise walks in. So you're not really supposed to notice that, but yeah. it's a there little still that, like, thing they're including, connection. yeah, connection. Because this one was sort of the most self-aware, or not, like it just referenced a lot of the other films. Yeah, like they yeah. really brought back his wife in a big way. Definitely. And I remember that from but the But did you guys one. all like that? I, I did. I, I really re- did. I, I expected not to, but I actually really found it quite sweet and poignant, mm. like where they just sort of meet in the, the Doctor and he just like... When the husband, the other, well, the, the, the boyfriend, when he leaves and he just like quickly grabs her and he's just like, I'm sorry. And like he kisses her and then he leaves. That shot. I was like, oh my God. Like, I love that I was shot. Like, You're a fucking good actor, Tom Cruise. I was like, that's really, I really, I was like. Oh Where God. he does that and then it's the same shot. <laughs> You see him running in the background. He's like, he's already just running. <laughs> yeah. he's, like, he's like, he's like, he's either on or off. Yeah, he's yeah. like, okay, yeah. quick hug and then. It was running. just, it was just surpri- <laughs> It was like, I don't know. It was like a surprisingly sweet moment. I thought, yeah. and then when she's like, helps helps uh, Ving Rhames' character. That was, like, that was cool. And she was Luther. just like, what do I do, or Luther? Arthur. Yeah, and like, and they actually got me. They got me a few times, but it was almost like I get it from a narrative sense, but it it was like. I don't know how to describe it, but basically he was like, go be with your husband. And she like runs off. And then there's the scene where Tom Cruise is like dying on the mountain and the helicopter comes. I really thought it was going to be her. And I thought that'd be a funny, not a funny, I shouldn't say, but I thought it was going to be a (laughs) sweet moment where he's like, go be with your husband. And she Uh, goes in the helicopter to go find Tom Cruise. And I was fully expecting that. But I think from a story perspective, it's like, it doesn't make sense for her to know how to fly a helicopter, maybe. Mm. She's just right. a doctor. But I thought that's where they were leading to it. Like, go be with your husband. But it turns out it was Elsa, the, the other girl. Yeah. 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 And, and the filmmakers have said it was kind of their, their goal with this to kind of end the wife's storyline. Because in the previous movie, they started maybe setting up a, uh, Ethan and Elsa, maybe. But um, oh, okay. apparently audiences were like, but what? He's married, isn't he? Where's his wife? So they wanted to kind of close it, pay it mm. off. Yeah. yeah. So he can be with Elsa, I suppose. Possi- possibly. 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 Just the one yeah. where he sees his wife at the end. That's the fourth one. I just watched mm, it again. It's at the right. very end. She like gets off a ferry. Yeah. And he kind of like, <laughs> I don't know. He's like, I can't, I can't be. With her. Like, yeah. <laughs> he can't. He's like, I, he says some line about like he can't be with yeah. her because he, her life's always in danger because yeah. people yeah. will just use her to get to him yeah. which I think is basically the plot of the third one from memory yeah, yeah. and the fifth one I mean sixth one sorry the one we're talking about oh basically. yeah of course that's why yeah. they go to that place because yeah, yeah, Guardian yeah. Angel which is that was so great I loved when she turned up there it's like oh mm. everyone's like oh crap yeah <laughs> This is this hurts. <laughs> there were so many twists and turns in this movie as yeah. well, with all the masks and the fake. They totally got me at the start where they were interrogating that Russian guy, and it was like the bombs went oh, off, yeah. and he's like laughing in his chair, and I was like, "That's so fucking stupid from a narrative." I was like, "You can't just show bombs going off on a screen. You can't have that harsh a cut and not have a three months later or anything." I was like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "I did not like this." And then they were like fake out, and it, like all the things fall apart, and he's like, yeah. "Like we got you," and I was like, "What well, you got me?" <laughs> Oh, we were like dude. six seconds into that, and I leaned over and I was like, "That's not real." Oh <laughs> no, wow! They yeah. told, they told, they I got was like, me. I was like, "Oh, they've yeah. gone dark." I was like, "This is a very odd." I was like, "This is a very odd pacing," and like, <laughs> I was like, "This doesn't make any sense." And then like Tom Cruise is getting angry, and then I, they totally had me until it sort of until it, the reveal. I was like, "Oh shit!" I was like, "They totally got me," and I was like, yeah. "We are in for a treat." <laughs> yeah. I was like, "This is gonna be good." Uh, yeah. um, my all-time favorite <clears throat> thing was so every single time they had a gun, it was always like the suspenseful. Am I gonna shoot you? And I was always just like in my head, I was like, just shoot, <laughs> just shoot. I was like, just shoot. And I was like, and then my favorite part was when they're in the helicopter and he drops the like the thing on there and it misses and he goes, fly up. And he just looks at Tom Cruise and he goes, grabs a machine gun and just shoots. I'm like, thank you. And I just like went hysterical. I could not stop laughing because I was like, I'm so happy right now. He's just shooting. I love the He's not amazing. thinking. They're like Henry Cavill's a big dude. Let's get him the biggest gun. Yeah. Can. This like light machine gun. And he's got that line like, why won't you just die? Like he's getting more frustrated. I love how Did in that like- final section, yeah. where 
getting onto the helicopters, and it's been going on for so long, just getting crazier and crazier. That's my one gripe, actually. I think it went a little too long. Do ya? Oh, Which well. The, just the yeah. helicopter stuff at the end. Oh, yeah. It just went on. Like, just a little. Right. It's just funny how they, they start swearing a bit at that moment and it feels so justified. Like, usually the swearing in movies doesn't feel yeah. justified, but at that point they're like, Tom Cruise is like, oh, this dickhead or something. And it's like, and I'm like, yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think that was intentional to sort of drag it out. It's like these characters are already getting frustrated. Like, yeah. Henry Cavill was like, I just want to just die. And yes. Tom Cruise is... I didn't realize you posted that line I think on Facebook and it was like he's the manifestation of destiny. I didn't realize that was an actual line from the film, it was from the fifth one where yeah. Alec Baldwin's like, he's like, there is nowhere that you can go that Ethan Hunt can't find you. There's <laughs> nothing we can do where Ethan Hunt won't do to us. And he's like, he is the manifestation of destiny. <laughs> I was like, it's like he is a god amongst men. <laughs> like it's this weird like rant. He's like praising him. Like, they do. Uh, they over, he's like not overdo it, but they do that a lot in this, and it's kind of mm. cool. They're like, like this is. Ethan Hunt. Yeah. Do you even know what that it's means? Like, it's got, it's got, it felt quite John Wick almost. If yeah, you think. yeah. Yeah. It's gone from like James Bond to John Wick a little bit, I suppose. Like. Yeah. Yeah. He's not like an agent anymore. He's like, yeah, like a god. And that was the best part about John Wick is when the guys, it's like, it's like, he, it's like he killed the dog, and he's like, of who? He's like, of John Wick, and he's like, he puts the phone down. And he's just like. <laughs> yeah, like, like, oh, like yes. everyone does. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. when they have this status, so good. <laughs> and even Simon Pegg does that in this one. He's, oh, I mean, it was the fifth one where he's just like, he's like, you can hold your breath for two minutes, and it's like he has to be down there for three minutes. He's like, yeah, you can do that. Like <laughs> everyone just has this expectation yeah. of Ethan Hunt, and I love how Ethan Hunt, <clears throat> you know, shows some human moments though. It, Tom Cruise more and more is mm. okay with making fun of himself in these movies yeah. and like in this one in the bathroom scene he's got a moment where he needs to recover there he's like oh jeez this guy's really giving it to, I need a moment yeah. and I, he shows weakness and I love that because oh, that was one of the things from the trailer which like really got me hyped is that scene of Henry Cavill where he goes and then it's like when it's got that great Imagine Dragon song and then yeah. and then that scene is like the third scene and I was like like they go to the club and I was like oh shit we're getting the scene already and <laughs> That went completely different to how I expected it. Mm. The trailer makes it look like Henry Cavill beats the fuck out of everybody. Yeah. But in reality, in that scene, that Asian dude beats the crap out of both of them. Yeah. Like Tom Cruise, you're like, holy crap, this Asian guy is awesome. They're like, who's like, this guy? Yeah. Yeah, and then Elsa just shoots him sort of thing. And yeah. she comes in. Henry but, Cavill's so good. But yeah, he. I thought he was pretty good as well. I loved it. And I think yeah. another scene that really was a big standout for me was the sound with the <clears> motorbikes <throat> and how when the motorbike, she takes a corner and she goes through the like... The, like pyramids? Yeah, yeah, and it's like... Oh, yeah, it's cool. like I was like, oh, yeah. oh, oh, this is so cool. This sounds amazing. Because like, you know how when you're in a car and you do that, yeah. you're like, ah. Just everything sounds so yeah. good. Even just it's like just the so changing satisfying. gears and like and the acceleration and like even the guns like shooting in the back background and stuff like that but I mean that's one of those things I'm like because I'm noticing it I'm like does that make it good or is that a bad you know what I mean like editing is yeah. the best when it's invisible yeah. sort of thing but I'm like nah this this is incredible the way they're oh, mixing and meshing yeah. and one thing they did amazing was there was not an overuse of guns because a lot of action mm-hmm. films they use guns so much over the top but this one it was like really good quality and they only brought it out when it was necessary and that's what I thought was really good And it was like you would forget about the guns and you would think who actually is going to win. Because when a person has a gun, you're like, oh, they're going to win. Yeah. And then it's always that uh, fight for the gun. But with this, it was just like you occasionally had it. And it was like when he was going through the club and uh, saving... The mm. widow. Was her name like the white? Is the it white, white widow? Yeah, yeah, the white widow. Um, he's just like he's kind <laughs> of like using everything else but a gun because he's in a public space, yeah. and then he has, then he has to use a gun at There's the end because he's like, all right, someone's shot, and all right, I'm gonna bring out a gun now. And mm, it was yeah. just like I loved how it wasn't a let's go to the guns. It's easy. It's fun. It's badass. It was like no, this made it even more cool. Yeah, it's a great mm. thing about all the Mission Impossible. Really, say, yeah. Yeah. it they, isn't they like need them, senseless yeah. killing. It is sort of like let's do it. The peace tour. Let's in. Let's in. Uh, what's the word? Into in, um in in in. I know the word you're looking for. <laughs> I know it's infiltrate. Really? Infiltrate. Infiltrate. Really ah. Struggling with the words. I know. I'm, I was I'm there. I knew it. Yeah. I was like interrogate. No. I was like investigate. No. Yeah. <laughs> infiltrate. Yeah. Like because they really showed that in this one. They like you said sort of humanize them and stuff. Mm. Like he doesn't like to kill. And there was their initial plan of how to get the bad guy. And it was like just yeah, just fucking kill all the cops. And he's like no. And then he does he his way. And then he says them later. He's like oh it wouldn't have worked. And she's like, mm, that sounds a bit flaky, but I kind of like you, so yeah. I'll, I'll believe you for now. Yeah, and it was like, but, I did like that. Because when they did the flash forward, 
Yeah. I rolled my eyes, so I was like, I hate it when they do that. I was like, just show us the scene of when they're going to do it. But then when they were pulling up and setting up and when mm. the Barry, he was getting transported, I was like, oh, so, but that actually makes so much sense. Now I'm excited. Now I have my expectations. Yeah. And now I know they're going to be changing mm. because I have expectations of the events leading up. So I, I thought that was probably my favorite ever movie flash forward <laughs> event because I was like, well, this makes me excited yeah. because you just know it's not going to be just how you saw it. And so. I don't know, this movie fooled me left, right and centre in all the right ways. Like, I thought that flash forward thing where he's killing the cop and stuff mm. was, um, you know, I thought, wow, yet yeah, they've gone dark again. This is crazy. <laughs> and then they flash back and it's like, ah, oh, yeah, great. But he's going to come yeah. up with a solution. But it, it was, I think darker because the stakes mm. were high I think the it wasn't felt it wasn't high. one bomb it was three bombs like, you know, <laughs> but also the, I just I just thought of it then is the other sort of surprisingly sweet moment is that moment with the female cop where like the plane's oh, gone off without a hitch yeah. they've got the, the car thing. they're all together oh, and yeah. the door opens and she's good. like she's like like, blah, 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 like in French, like she's got the yeah. gun on them. She's like, these are the guys no, we've been hunting. Play, no, play. Yeah, he's like, he's like, just we does like, like civil player, like, and it's like, yeah. it's so good. And there's that moment where the four guys come and they're about to shoot her, and then yeah. Tom Cruise just like, they do. That's shoot what her, you said. Yeah. Is yeah. They, he, it's a last thing. It's a last effort. Just to, to, he uses the gun, and when he does have to, it's like four shots, four guys down, like bam, 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 yeah. and then he's, and then it's mm. like, and then he like treats the girl. Oh wait, I guess she yeah, does get no, shot. He, Sorry, no, they shoot her. She does. Yeah. And she goes yeah. down, and they're about to finish her off. That's right. Yeah. But I think of that as like the Mission Impossible short film. Just that yeah. scene. I think yeah. that sums was, up everything. It was really sweet. I, that's good, my yeah. favorite scene. I did. Ever. Like that scene. Mm. Yeah. And it was it's so surprising. Like it wasn't because it, it, it catches yeah. you off guard because it's like oh the plan now they're gonna like revel or they're gonna yeah. go to the next he's gonna run some more and go to the next scene and then it just yeah, yeah. It surprised you and it makes it so clear what the kind of ethics of. The, this film or these films mm. are which I sometimes get like sketchy on like Star Wars mm. they keep killing stormtroopers isn't Finn a stormtrooper is that okay um, I don't know yeah but, like, um, you humanise him but then you also don't care like yeah, yeah like, mm. so in this I like when they kind of clarify who are we okay to kill and stuff <laughs> and it's like no we're not going to kill anyone who's mm. just an innocent bystander or anything we're going to do anything we can to save them yeah And but if they get in trouble if they are threatened by other people who aren't so good I'm just going to kill them all, just instantly. <laughs> yeah. I like those ethics mm. of it's this like, franchise. <laughs> and it's funny, because, yeah, there's the line... Well, they use it in the trailer, and it's sort of different... It's contextually different in the film. Henry Cavill says to his boss... Hmm. Is it Angela Bassett? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can't remember the character's name. Um, and he's like, how many times has his government disavowed him? <laughs> like, fucked him over? Like, how much can a man take? And like, yeah. I thought that was really cool. I thought this was going to be the film where he does crack, but... In the film, it's contextually different because he's trying to set he, him he's setting him up as this character that has cracked, sort of thing. And so then he's like mounting this evidence towards him. I think that's why the surprises were just because they surprise you as an audience member, but the characters in the film with the female cop, the characters are surprised. You're surprised mm. when they do the double switcheroo on Henry Cavill, where he's talking <laughs> to um, the bad guy, and then he pulls it off, and it's Simon Pegg. He's like, "Hello," like, <laughs> sort of thing, and then they all come out. They've all got him, and even now, like Baldwin's like in on yeah. it too. I think this one's yeah. loaded. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, it was great. Yeah. yeah, the more, yeah, no, definitely. I um, I'm very excited to see the the next um all the rest. <laughs> yeah. now, Don't so. see it again. I'll rewatch yeah. them with you if you watch them. Yeah. I really do. I want to watch number one again. I think so yeah. watch they're all like kind of silly. Is it the first one? Then he gets the helicopter in the tunnel or something. Yeah, yeah. Like it's great. He like yeah. fights a train with a helicopter. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do I mean is I think is one. Fun, though, yeah. It's this beautiful mix of ridiculousness and real because. The stuff they're doing is crazy, but there's something I think about, I think that is, I think it must come from the beauty of the practical effects and being so close and mm. seeing these actors and seeing yeah. them sweat and emote and stuff like that. It just makes it so visceral. And yeah. on the helicopter stuff, like, mm. yeah, it's it's ridiculous. The fact they're sandwiched between the two cliffs facing each other, like, it's stupid. But when they're in it and it looks real and he's trying to climb up it and it's like, <laughs> like it's edging forward yeah. and then the, the hook grabs the rock and it's so perfectly yeah. grabs that yeah. one rock. But just the way they shoot it is just like, you're just like, like it just feels, you're on the edge of your seat, you're like sweating in the cinema, Absolutely. and you haven't run anything. And, and Tom speaking Cruise about like, Mission Impossible, I feel like that <laughs> third act is the most Mission Impossible it's ever got. I'm like, this is ridiculous, guys. He's already, he's already gone off in the helicopter. Tom Cruise, what are you going to do? <laughs> this, uh, there's yeah. nothing you can... Just, oh, and I love the line where he's like, I prefer not to look. 
when he like he's yeah, like, "How are you gonna get the remote?" He's like, "I prefer not to look." And those amazing <laughs> and he's, like, climbing shots up the thing. where he's hanging oh, there. I was this mission like, just got a I whole lot more impossible. So Tom Cruise yeah. on the helicopter, and he's yeah. like hanging on the rope, and he does, the and then fall. he falls. Yeah, I <laughs> shat myself. I was like, didn't yeah, not so expect like, that. Of course he fell. <laughs> I do like that. <laughs> I thought he was gonna get it because I was I, like, yeah. yeah, like that just sums up that little part. And then he goes like that, and he just falls. I was like, oh yeah. shit, because I know he's gonna grab it, but it's still that initial fear of the fact <laughs> yeah. that you're falling from that type of height. You're just like, <laughs> <laughs> they do raise the stakes in sort of each scene. It's like yeah. it's not enough that the, the mission is impossible. It also goes wrong. Like yeah. like yeah. in the fifth one where he has to jump in that water fountain thing. Yeah. And he's got the three minutes, but then the thing like whacks him away yeah. from the cards and he gets sucked out. And the and cards look yeah. the same. Yeah, yeah, and then the girl has to jump in after. And there's so much stuff like that. Like the Burj yeah. Khalifa already climbing up the tower is hard with these like sticky gloves. What happened? One of the gloves doesn't fucking work. Yeah. And then like, and then he has to come down and like, oh, he he's running it. down. It's amazing. Yeah, I, I want to watch that, that again. Hey. Ghost Protocol. Yeah. So, all right, we're... Oh, can I just first the um so the Go ahead. got to talk about the Halo jump, which is just oh my god, I forgot about the Halo jump. You're just watching the movie. Oh They're like, god. okay, you guys are in the plane. You're going to oh, the be place. Be careful, there's lightning. <laughs> and then straight and he away, jumps over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like so scared of a little lightning, and it's like I'm not over but it. He what follows, and then <laughs> they both jump out, and it follows them down like that. Yes. I was yeah. like, so the cameraman <sighs> jumps out first backwards. Yeah. They're filming Tom Cruise. It's amazing. And, like, I know there's, like, they probably touch it up immensely and, like, like they're probably... Yeah. And that's the thing. It's, like, they're probably in a studio somewhere, but that, or something, or there's mats or however they do it. Like, they could be in a green screen. So it's all actual jumping. They all jumped out yeah. of the plane. But, yeah, so the, but they'll, 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 they did it three times and they yeah. just had to put Paris in underneath because <laughs> they weren't on top of Paris. Yeah. What? So that's not... I yeah. thought they did it in an actual thunderstorm until someone got hit by lightning. <laughs> but that's, yeah. No, that's, I knew mean, you could... Yeah, but there's a lot of the stuff, like, they film in, like, a like underwater yeah, yeah, yeah. or something like that. Mm. And it's, like, it's in, like, a swimming pool. Yeah, yeah. So it's they'll, still they'll add stuff. But it's, yeah. it's still just adds to it I think it was like a really good blend yeah. however they did it like, like, if I, don't know, they, I don't know how they did it it looked amazing and <coughs> <coughs> sorry I cut you off there you were about to say something no, it's just that I no, it was just like such a good scene in that yeah. I kind of I was so the minute that they're on the plane, I started automatically looking for the parts that were see so like in a green screen and then yeah. that were and but I kind of like the whole idea that you could actually tell the difference because that when they're jumping on the plane, you're like, no, that is real, yeah. and you're like. Whoa. Whoa! Yeah, and the music in his <laughs> awe as well. Like, oh. it, yeah. If, yeah. It, if it isn't real, it feels real, and they make it look. They do a good job yeah. making it look real. Yeah, and yeah, like he gets like when he gets like zapped immediately from the light, you're just like shocking, oh, and he's like falling, and then he helps Henry Cavill's thing, and then he has that joke. He's like, oh, "You lost your oxygen tank," <laughs> yeah. and he's like. Like, you motherfucker. <laughs> like, I just saved your ass, you yeah. douchebag CIA agent. Yeah. And I love that they have a couple lines in the plane still before they jump out in the same take. Mm. So there's a bit of acting, there's a bit of the scene, and then the jump. It's just amazing. I love that they do that. Yeah, he, like, he like whacks his helmet or something, doesn't he? And he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And, Harry Campbell's and like, a couple Sugar. lines, and he's gone, and then chases yeah. after him. It's They're just showing off at that point. And also <laughs> with um, when he does his jump over the buildings, when he shatters his ankle... Like, he's already running a fair bit in that same shot mm. before he does the jump. It's just amazing. Mm. <laughs> that's what I mean. I think, yeah, it's like, I think it, that's what I was trying to say. I think it is easy, easy to kind of brush this off as another action film, but it's like when you sort of look at it critically from a choreography yeah, and, st- and stunt I'll, I'll work, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's hard because you sort of, you want to immerse yourself in the film. And yeah, I do try and yeah, turn yeah. that part of my brain mm. off. But at the same time, I'm just like constantly being sort of blown away by some of the stuff. You're just like, oh god, like what? Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I was just gonna kind of wrap it up a bit, I yeah. suppose. If you have anything else to say, it but, was um, beautiful. Yeah, it was. It, cool was film. it was so exciting. <laughs> just yeah, I think that was my thing. It was um, just exciting to see, mm. especially on a big screen too. It was exciting to see. It was a very yeah. exciting film. Yeah, I'm glad we went there. Yeah, like I saw it in cinema and didn't like. Sort of way. Yeah. So I guess I was just going to sort of leave it with. So where does this sort of rank amongst your Mission Impossible's like mm. in your ranking? Mm. It's like up there. I'm looking at you. Tom. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, well, I I'm just for now going to put it at the top. I think. Um, and I think Mission Impossible because each film <coughs> is quite of its time. I feel mm. like the latest yeah. one might always be my favorite. Yeah, that's a good. But one. I love them all except the second one. So. Yeah. 
Well, again, that's why I'm so surprised that the first yeah. one was 1996. Yeah. I'm like, wow. It really Like, that would on. be a completely different sort of smaller film. I think it's definitely better than the fifth one than the last one, Rogue Nation. Mm -hmm. I think it's just more fun, more crazy, more action-packed. Yeah. And it has those, yeah, those, like, sweet moments, those surprise moments. I really like Ghost Protocol, though. Yeah. So it's kind of like, it's one of them, I think. I think this one may be technically, but Ghost Protocol has some fun moments and it has some cool yeah. gadgets. Like, in the hallway with that, the step, like that screen thing that they put up. Yeah, like they're yeah, all a bit clever. contrived. Like they're all a bit too perfect. The guys, yeah. but it's just so much fun. It's just fun, <laughs> fun scenes. Like this. this is your number one, I take it. Yep. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it's probably mine as well. Like, yeah. I love the first one. but yeah. It's also very yeah. silly. Something. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. Oh, can I just say how it goes from they're in the truck thing, <laughs> and then it goes from the truck thing. To a truck chase, to a motorbike chase, to a car chase, yeah. to a foot chase. Yeah. It's just... It was a lot of chasing, is what you're saying. It was a lot of chasing. <laughs> it, was it was all pretty good, so though. much wow. fun. It didn't really bore You me. never thought of it like, <laughs> yeah. that, like that, though. You never no. ever once, I think the oh, second God, act now was they're the on a car. It was like a, whoa. Yeah. This is cool. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'm going to ask a dumb question. Was Jeremy Renner in this one? No. No. Because he, he was only the fourth and fifth one. He wasn't in this one. I didn't no, so. he wasn't. Because he was too busy um, scheduled in to not be in Infinity War. So <laughs> it's just true. He didn't yeah. do it because of Infinity War. And then he wasn't in Infinity War. So he's yeah. like, poor like Jeremy. Because, yeah, yeah cause they brought... Because it's, it's interesting. They're, like, bringing people back. Or, like, bringing in new characters. Like, they brought in Elsa. And, but they keep they keep Simon mm. Pegg and they brought back yeah. Ving Rhames. Ving Rhames is Which in one the, was, what, first? In second? all of them, yeah. All of them? Oh, what, really? Yeah. Okay, I thought he was, like, maybe in the third. Because he's only at the end of the fourth one. Then they bring mm. him back the fifth. And it's, like, him and Jeremy Renner sort of together. And I then, love seeing him on screen. Because I, I remembered him from the early ones. Yeah, he's in the first one. Yeah, I yeah. thought he was. Yeah. So now I really want to watch the first one again. Yeah. Yeah. I, I want to watch them all again, actually. <laughs> I kind of do. Yeah. <laughs> I think but, I'd get more out of the sixth one if I did. Because the sixth one, it confused me, genuinely. I was like, who sure. are these people? Sure. Yeah, mm. yeah. I think when you go that long, it's like, you do kind of want to... It's like in the Avengers and stuff like that. Like, you want to yeah. reward the hardcore fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While also keeping it... People can jump in. Fresh, yeah. yeah. But um, I really liked yeah. Paula Patton's character from Ghost Protocol, but they haven't brought her back, no. I suppose. I thought she was really cool. Like, when she has the feud with the, the other agent, the, the French girl, and she just fucking kicks her out of the Burj Khalifa. Yeah. Like, she's just had enough. Like, she can't get to the gun, and the other girl's, like, about to shoot her, and she just kicks her out of the tower. And it's like, I don't know. <laughs> she's just, like... Yeah. she's She's just had a ferocity to her. Because she's, like... She's not... I don't know. I'm not trying to be offensive. She's not, like, petite. She's, like like a really strong woman she's really tall and like and she just I don't know yeah she just has this like ferocity she can just like she, she can fuck you up I don't yeah. know but she's <laughs> not in the later ones I suppose she didn't make the cut but Simon Pegg did yeah so. Simon Pegg did yeah, yeah. but everyone Simon everyone Pegg. everyone, everyone, everyone likes Simon Pegg, Pegg. <laughs> alright we've got to wrap up is there any any last any last things Thomas um, I want to watch him again just it's crazy too just how Tom Cruise keeps getting better in these movies i mean he's he's 56 now and how, he's, yeah. yeah wow yeah so, uh, it's amazing. How, how are you so uh, there's a lot of people out there that just don't like straight up don't like Tom Cruise. well i think yeah he's very questionable as a person but i love him as a filmmaker i think he's a great producer and actor i that's how it gets I feel films about made him. that's how I, you that's have to be exactly. able to separate it i mean <clears throat> you have to be because he's a weirdo yeah. but he's not to my knowledge done anything I don't think he could have played he's human. not murdered anybody like not that know. you know about <laughs> but yeah. I, I agree like people that just like don't oh, fucking hate Tom Cruise I don't watch him and I'm like oh like you're just missing out on a lot of good films I think like I put him in a movie I think he's a tremendous yeah. actor and he's I just think he's, a tremendous he's watchable actor. and he's proven himself lately that he's just a crazy stunt person yeah. I'm not sure he can act as a normal person in any movie yeah, no, when no, you no. see him try to do normal things it's really awkward he is very it's Tom um, Cruise yeah yeah <laughs> Trying to yeah. think of any normal movie I've ever seen him in, I can't. <laughs> well, it was cool to see him yeah. do that sweet moment with his wife yeah. just there. It was so yeah. almost out of character because you hadn't seen it, I guess. So cool. It came out of nowhere. Anyway, anyway let's wrap up there. Yeah. Good movie. Love Everyone it. go check it out. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to watch the first one, I think, again. Yeah. And maybe yeah. I might go see the movie fall out again. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks again for joining us. Thomas, right. thank you. Thank you thank very you. much. Thank you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.